Let's talk tropics. Not the fun stuff, though, of course, we are cheering on the Carolina Hurricanes about 45 minutes to go. NOAA released their 2025 hurricane season outlook today, and they are calling for a slightly above normal season. The average number of tropical storms, 14. They're going 13 to 19 tropical storms, 6 to 10 hurricanes, and 3 to 5 major hurricanes. On WRAL.com, you can see our WRAL tropical outlook for the season, and that one goes more specifically into North Carolina. For now, all is quiet in the tropics and the Atlantic. Hurricane season officially starts on June 1st. Officials spoke about the 20 year anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, the lessons learned, and the forecasting improvements made since then. This as they prepare for new challenges heading into what could be another busy hurricane season. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration forecasting a busy Atlantic hurricane season ahead. We're predicting an, an above average season once again, 2025. Uh, above average. NOAA predicts 13 to 19 named storms. Of those, 6 to 10 are forecast to become hurricanes, including 3 to 5 major hurricanes, category 3 or above, between June 1st and November 30th. Prepare now and stay ready throughout the season. The outlook comes amid a series of Trump administration cuts to NOAA, which includes the National Weather Service, slashing funding for weather and climate research and reducing staff. NWS losing nearly 600 employees over the past several months. Cuts to staffing, cuts to funding, cuts to the ability to do that job just puts more stress on the forecasters and on the meteorologists. Meteorologist Chris Vygaski says we've come a long way in our ability to predict when and where a storm will hit. But cuts are reducing the number of weather balloon launches and hurricane hunter flights that provide critical information to forecasters. And without enough data, it becomes more difficult for communities to prepare. Having a really accurate forecast goes a long way to keeping people safe, making sure that the people in the greatest threat area are able to take actions to protect their lives and property. But Vygaski says despite the challenges, the job will still get done. We're going to keep doing what we do as meteorologists, and that's monitor the weather and monitor the forecast and get those warnings out there. And officials reminded everyone that no matter what the hurricane forecast is, it takes just that one big storm to cause devastating damage and life-changing impacts. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting.